Statistics from the National Sexual Violence Resource Center show one in five women and one in 16 men experience sexual assault in college. Some University of Pennsylvania students say the circulation of a sexually suggestive email targeting freshman women shows their campus is not immune. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O has details. With everyone they put up. A group of University of Pennsylvania students hopes to help take down what they say is a systemic problem across campuses nationwide. I was disgusted. Um, I thought that it was very degrading, very sexist, and it was the very embodiment of rape culture. Senior Sierra Ortiz Blanes is talking about a recent email. Tonight is your first showing, so please wear something tight. Allegedly sent by the off-campus fraternity Oz to a number of undergraduate women. I felt offended by it. This is what the email looks like. So in protest and to raise awareness, a group of Penn students plastered these flyers all over campus. We wanted to take a stand and put our foot down and make a statement across campus that this sort of behavior will not be tolerated. And many students are noticing. I'm glad that they're out there. Um, I think it's the responsibility of the men on campus to really pay attention to this. Their message is reaching far beyond city limits, even gaining national media attention. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf and Senator Bob Casey tweeted their support for students taking a stand. We stopped by the address of the off-campus fraternity house included in the original email, but no one came to the door. It was the same as every other party. I feel like it was just some guys making a bad decision on how to invite people. In response, university officials released a statement that reads in part, the text of the email was offensive and has no place at Penn, as the university has made clear in its policies and protocols, sexual harassment and sexual assault are unacceptable and will not be tolerated on campus. At the University of Pennsylvania. If this keeps at least one person and safe, then we did our job. Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.